You know, everybody always tells you that when you start talking about slippery slope things, that it's a really hysterical argument and it will never be that way. But it's always that way. Whenever the government steps in and tells you that your religious beliefs only will matter on this one very narrow, very specific aspect of parenting, it will never stop there. And it will never stop with just justifying in this one letter, this one time that it's sincere enough. When you are letting the government sit there and register you as a religious person with a sincere religious belief and set up some sort of database that registers you as an outlier with a religious belief, I think people and the people in the government setting this up need to stop and think about what the historical ramifications have been for religious databases, religious registries, and where that has gotten countries that have done that. It does not end well for the people who have allowed that to happen. And we should absolutely, in America, not let this happen to people. While they're using vaccines to kind of try to slide this in for people, it's not going to stop there. And it's not something, no matter how you feel about vaccination, this is not good for anyone. Right. And no, that's what I said. We covered a story a couple of weeks ago. It was the same sort of government swooping in to tell the parents that they didn't have any right to make the decision about their kids. It was a case out of Ohio, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, my hometown, actually, where a 17 year old girl was diagnosed with gender dysphoria. She wanted to take uh, hormones and transition to a man. And her parents said, we don't believe that that's the best uh, that that's the best treatment for your gender dysphoria. And we're not going to facilitate those hormones in that surgery. The kid could have waited until she was 18 and done it on her own, but instead the court took the kid away, took custody away from the parents and said, listen, uh, you're not doing what we think that you should do, so we're gonna, take, you're gonna, we're gonna take your parental rights away from you and give your kid to someone who will facilitate this transition. Again, it's the same as this. It doesn't matter what your views are on gender dysphoria, transgenderism, or transitioning to a different gender. It doesn't matter what your views are on vaccinations. The idea that a judge in a courtroom or bureaucrats in an assembly, in a Congress, in a state house can tell parents what they can do, what they cannot do with their children when it's not neglect, not abuse, not a violation of these children's rights, it's abhorrent. It starts there. They're using this vaccination issue in New Jersey because it's one that sparks fear. It's one that sparks emotion. They're using this as a way to consolidate power and everybody who values their freedom and liberty should stand up and say, not here, not here in America.